So you're going to ask how we got here. Let's rewind. We're going big on HasLabs. This video is all about HasLabs. Recently, they shipped this guy and they funded this guy. Now it's time to talk about some G.I. Joe project possibilities. Remember how the His Tank got funded in less than a day? Let's talk about some new projects. While you're here, think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Let's get into it. Number 1. The 1983 Dragonfly The Dragonfly is a classic Joe vehicle that needs to be classified. It's a medium-sized vehicle, so perfect for the HasLab. Designed to fit two figures in the cockpit, this would be the ultimate vehicle to take on the Cobra His Tank from the sky. With lots of playability, it could even add a landing pad, among other things, as possible stretch goals. As a bonus, it has a built-in repaint as the Tigerfly. This one has my vote. Number 2 the 1982 Mobat. The Mobat is a classic G.I. Joe tank. It would be interesting to see how the team at Hasbro could upgrade the vehicle with the usual classified stylings. I'm not sure if it would need electronic moving treads, as this would certainly up the price, but done correctly, this one could easily be backed by all of the hardcore Joe fans. Once again, this one has a high probability of possibly being retooled into a mauler. Number 3, the 1982 Vamp. The Vamp is another classic medium sized vehicle. Again, it is designed to transport two figures. It could possibly upscale to have a back seat which would allow two more figures. Add in some highly detailed accessories like changeable weapons in the back. It could also make use of the tow hook and have a stretch goal to include a towable vehicle like the MMS. Easily repainted into the Mark II, Tiger Sting, or even the Cobra Stinger. Number 4, the 1985 Snowcat. The Snowcat is a unique vehicle with a winter aesthetic. As we have both Snow Job and the Snow Serpents incoming at some point down the pipeline, a Snowcat would make sense. Pair that with a possible Battle Bear smaller vehicle assortment, you could have a Winter Joe Force to be wrecking with. Just make sure that missile mount is built sturdy so it doesn't crack. Once again, this one is easily repainted into the Tiger Force's Tiger Cat. Number 5, the 1988 Warthog. Sergeant Slaughter is on his way to the classified line and why not give him something proper to drive? A larger vehicle designed to handle a whole host of Joes, this would be interesting to see done. However, it is basically the Joe version of the His Tank, so it's closer to the bottom of the list for us, as some other items in this list might add a bit more variety. Of course, this one has a built-in repaint to be both Night Force or even a Tiger Force version to fit with the rest of the vehicles. All the items in this list have built-in repaints that allow for multiple uses, as well most should include tow hooks to expand the playability of the items as the line grows, except for the Dragonfly of course. My only concern is the price, as HasLabs has missed the mark a few times with the price of recent failed projects. But as long as they stay away from too many lights and electronics, I think a more manageable price could be achieved, allowing more backers to support each one of these potential projects. Which one would you pick to fund? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please think about subscribing. While we're talking about classified vehicles, I recommend you catch out, check out the next video on smaller size vehicles that we could expect to see at retail in the near future. Thanks for watching.